G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Hunting NT. Today we're talking some serious stuff. We are getting a concession for hunting. So we're going to start a hunting safari, uh, me and Ryan and Solo. And um, this is the uh, abandoned hunting safari lodge. So we've got a shack here, we've got toilets and showers. As you can see, she is overgrown as. We've got water tanks, at least it's something to start off with. And uh, watch us as we make this uh, old uh, hunting shack back into a function hunting safari camp. You! At night. He's the first water buffalo. I don't know why he's not looking at me. It's only a young one. We'll just go around. Alright, he's gone. Alright. We've got thongs on, which isn't the best footwear. But we're at Coburg. And I'm driving in and I thought I'd pop in here where we the spring is. And I saw some big cherubim. You gotta watch out for big lizards here, though. But I saw one. I see. He was there. And he's still there. Minus. There's one right there. Oh, it's a red claw. There was a really big one. One more look over here. I was hoping to get a couple of cherubim. There we go. He's out now. There he is there. <laughs> Alright, we got a cherubin. <laughs> Should have brought a bucket. Oh, well, there's the first one. Team more ponies.
G'day everyone. Well, we've come across our first Bantang. The wind is in my favour. And uh, welcome to another episode of Hunting and Tea. Um, I know I look a bit rough. Drove all night to get out here. This is our new hunting concession that Ryan's gotten, which I'm going to be helping out. And uh, we're going to try to grow, make this into a um, safari and watch it grow into step by step. First things first, let's look at what we've got to shoot here. We're going to shoot some, have a look at them, um, have a bit of fun while I'm out here for a long weekend. Hopefully this is, we get this big bull here, he's a big one, but I'll try to document it more than try to shoot it. nailed him hopefully he goes down there he's there Ooh. just let him relax a lot of people go oh you can just shoot him one shot this is only 130 grain bullet but it's it's a 300 wind mag so Hit him a second time as you can see. I don't know if you can see that in the um, footage. That was him um, holding his leg up where I hit him in the shoulder.
Yeah, he's down. All right. <laughs> this is in the new concession. We've just got ourselves a massive band tank. There was heaps of them. So, this is gonna be an awesome concession. Thing is, uh, there's no track shit, so this is what I'll have to make, uh, start driving around certain areas and making tracks to get into these places because back in the day there was tracks here but no one's been out here for years and they were saying they had a poaching problem if you had a poaching problem there's normally the tracks are pretty um well used and the um the amount of band tank i just saw and all massive ones really looks like a hidden little gem in this spot all right hopefully i don't get stuck trying to get to this band tank there's wet ground is up here. I know that we keep going out wider. Uh, I'll turn his off until we get to him. Hello everyone. Look at the size him. I just measured him out and it's 59.5 inches. So it's an awesome band tank. I'll let you guys have a good look at him. That's where the shots are. Alright. Here they got white ass cheeks. This is a big boy. The girth of him. Like that's just. You can see it, how wide he is from there to there, and then the neck. I appreciate you, buddy. Well, this is all we're, we're showing you these people what's out on this concession that we got. And we're going to see what else is out and around. In this mob, there was about six, seven about this size. And then as I went looking for him, there was another mob with just, just as bigger ones in there with a heap of females. So, there's no shortage of good bantang in this area these animals are pretty old when they get to about this size though so they're actually some really good trophy animals in here and we're only in the first hour of looking on the concession the only thing it's a pity is um there is no tracks anymore the tracks are all being grown over i'm just looking on maps at uh, old maps and um yeah i've got no idea where the road the track is i'm just making my own track to where the location is all right well i'm gonna get um get sorted out with this guy bantang are a very good eating animal they are a feral pest still um with the concession is um the money will go to a percentage of money will go to the um community uh when we do the hunts and a certain uh, percentage uh will go to us and the um and all the cost of doing this stuff i'm not sure on prices yet but it'll be um well worth it and the marchies are biting me on me all right well i'm gonna cut this thing's head off i can't put that on youtube because youtube doesn't like anything to do with carving up animals even though it's part of nature so I'm still gonna try take I'm gonna take a back strap and see what it tastes like because everyone reckons it tastes like wax. I've never tried eating it, so while I'm out here camping, I'll try eat some bantang back straps. See if I can even chew it. I don't know if you can see there's a heap of bantang just over there. 
some big ones there too. I've shot me Bantag now. I'd like to shoot a pig and a water buffalo. I'm not saying anything about water buffalo. Let's have a look here. There's probably a big giant crocodile on here though. Let's have a look and see if there's one any. Look for pig sign. Looks like pig sign here. Should have got the gun or run into a pig here. Besides the band tank you see, can't smell me yet. Doesn't know what I am. Ooh. <laughs> That's that grunt that they do, it's unreal, eh? Certainly there are a few more big fuckers here. That's what I'm after. Hear it squeal. Bent over. Decent pig. Electric bike, me swag, dinner is cooking. <laughs> and we just have the sausages. I was gonna eat a bit of that bantang that I got, but I feel like it's having some sausages on bread with some tomato sauce for now. Maybe later on, I'll eat something else.
out again at Coburg and we're gonna wait up this go for a bit of a fish. Straight down up the beach. Might as well go up here and have a look at the little freshwater spring. Just all check, but that's what I was told. Spring. Yeah, definitely fresh water. Pure fresh water coming out here. Yeah, literally that's where it starts, righty. There's no water up there, it's just all pouring out of here. It's all mullet. I've got a couple of flicks in here. Never know what could be in here. May reject bear. It's come up from in there actually. And I've hooked a snag. Oh. That's fresh water, it's pure fresh water coming out. So if I was ever stuck for water at the camp, we could drive a car down here and get some fresh water that runs all year round. You know, I should bring me soap and all that down and have a bath. Alright. Time to get to the new spot and there's sharks cruising around the front of it. <laughs> Looks way better though. Oh, that was a hit. That was Jack. And we have our first jack. Calm down, I don't want to hurt you. I'm going to let you go. Right, a little manga object. Mm. 
There was a heap of them when I rocked up just then, so. Hopefully it's not in it. Got me knife. <laughs> that for an oyster. Beautiful. Alright, let's do me another one. Get a load of that for an oyster. <laughs> for up here in Northern Territory, that's a big oyster. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh. Swimming in a crocodile infested creek in the Northern Territory. <laughs> there's the beach, there's the freaking river. The glare, I can't see too far down here, so I hope you don't just pop up beside me. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Woo! Woo! She's a bit wet. Lucky the uh, old hide's got a good lift on her. Phew. Oars the road. So the bush is taking it back. We'll have to get a loader in here or something like that and just push, keep pushing it over to the side. Right. As you can see, it's really fresh tracks here, so on big buffaloes. Moving in there. So we've left the e-bike back there. I'm just gonna sneak in here and see what we can get. Massive water. 
Holy hell, that was scary as old fuck. Whew. Oh. <laughs> ran out, ran on there. Oh shit, that tree's coming for me. Freaking ran over here, gone to this tree. He was pissed. He couldn't, the only reason why he didn't come after me, he couldn't see, he couldn't see me. That's a big buffalo. Oh well. I achieved what I wanted to achieve. Got to shoot Bantang and a buffalo. This buffalo idea was a lot of work though. If we're gonna do anything with this bit of the concession, we're gonna have to get a loader or something in to knock all that brush down because there's no way in hell you're getting a car through there. The, the electric bike's the only thing we've actually got through. All right, let's pick up the brass. Frank, I thought I heard another water buffalo then. Don't want his mate to come up, sneak up behind me and kill me. This is him. That is a monster. That's a hundred score for sure. Big buffalo. So remote. It's probably the most remotest <laughs> spots I've ever shot an animal. So I'm gonna be hard up to get back in here to get with the, to get something to get this head. But I'll do my best effort. Even if I um, put it up in the tree and we come back for it once we got the um, machinery. Well, I hope you are all enjoying this. This is day two and we've um, shot ourselves a buffalo in the park for the buffalo area. So, and there seems to be a lot here, a lot of buffalo. I just shot this one just because of how he came out of the bush at me. I was really trying to just film, but how he came out, I wasn't sure if he was actually, he looked at me and then just car coming straight for me. So I shot, don't know if it was gonna be a charge, but when I shot him, he didn't hold up. He still came running out looking for, looking for what freaking shooting at him. He, I don't think he'd ever seen a human this one because where I am, it's taken me on a, a push bike riding on arterial tracks for two and a half hours of riding, doing about 10, 15 Ks. Um, so I'm a long way out in the middle of nowhere. Then I uh, saw the tracks and I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the bike there and I'll just walk in a little bit. And I've walked in a, a, a fair bit following these fresh tracks and all of a sudden he's popped out. And that's why was, I've shot this one at this, this stage. But if you want to shoot one of these animals, Stay tuned for us to uh, get this safari up and running and come out with us. I'll be out, Ryan will be out, we'll be out taking you out, uh, showing you this place of Coburg, and showing you all the mad fishing spots as well, as well as there's pigs here, and you got the Bantang and the Buffalo. So stay tuned, uh, hit the thumbs up if you want to see more of building the uh, abandoned hunting safari, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. You. Oh, it looks like a swimming hole. Beautiful swimming hole, eh? Fuck off. We're in the middle of buffalo country here. Oh. 
Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, we'll walk across this. This one drowned me. E bike. Hope no big lizard tries to eat me. Yeah, there's another thing. Can't do that with other vehicles. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, chapter one on rebuilding a abandoned hunting safari. Hope you enjoyed the, sh the fishing, the, uh, the cherubin down to the um, hunting bantang. Uh, let me know in the comments what you reckon. And uh, please hit the like button if you like to see more episodes on building this uh, hunting safari into a working business. All right, thank you very much. Phew.